once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf <laughs> even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. at the skate park last week. 
Now I need to sew it on. Man, Dad would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Maybe he's invisible now? Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. this. Where are you? Okay, I'm done. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told <gasps> you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? 
Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man. You started it, dickhead. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at He's totally me. lying, you little- Enough! Uh, you both better listen because I'm tired of this crap, okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had... Eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. Do this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel, why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. <sighs> Leave me alone.
And don't touch my stuff. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the dawn. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Shut Tam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Come on. Go away. Oh, now you can hear me? Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay if I sit down? <sighs> so, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself since you're not around as much hey come on it's not like i'm leaving home you might as well i never see you we don't even play games anymore we don't do anything daniel i just i want to hang out with my friends sometimes you're gonna be doing the same thing in a couple of years hi I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Sean, this is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever. Man, 
Beaver Creek feels so far away. He doesn't talk about it, but I know Daniel really misses Chris. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. <sighs> Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Gotta have backup signs. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Yeah. Like you don't get pet enough around here.
time to take the pen, dude. Okay, got it. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. It's nice to sit here together at night, like we're a part of something. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. You don't know what's inside? Like that movie. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. The sun has saved us. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grab something and sit your ass down. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. Zzzz. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narcs, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. Same here. Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Daniel won't either. Don't puss out at the narc show. Meryl takes care of his peeps. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair. He always puts us to work every season. Some of us need this shit job. Not the tourists here. Cush gig. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Well, at least they can't just screw over workers, like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear ya. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. I keep thinking you're Dutch. Water's kind of rare around here. Where from again? Everything goes into the plantations. You wouldn't hear about it. <laughs> a long fucking way to work a farm. Yeah. Uh, I think you forgot something, Sean. You gonna make some more coffee, right? Yeah. Been working for three years. Funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel. Oh yeah. Good time. Free. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. Sooner. 
I feel like we will never see everything now. You did. Gotta ride with us, right? You saw the real shit. We shower like True. once or twice a week. I will miss you too. Gives us more time to chill, right? Living large and humble. We're so lucky Jeez, these guys took us in. Is it the 15th or... What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <sighs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. And that's my job now. Full-time Daniel Wrangler. He's really lucky to have you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea! It'll match my chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. They were headed to the... We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold. But fucking awesome. What the fuck, man? You're awesome! Come on, once again. Yes! I'm the man! <laughs> Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously? I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bowl sized dude. Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay, yeah. 
I'll take a shot. Let's show the kid what's what. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> right between the fucking eyes. Damn. <laughs> oh, did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet? Ah. Uh... It's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He wouldn't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't- Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um... Do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh oh. Big Joe. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh, no, nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel, remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay, 
We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Wish we could send Chris a present or something. Or maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, night. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I cut it. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Too, too much monkey. sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> two peas in a pod, that. these ones. I'll show you the battle score. Oh, was so high last night. Are you showing jealous? Ooh. Nah. I love Just you, you keeping an eye out. With that, you know? Though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the nice That's master cute. here? I'm Beth. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that email? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> with us misfits. Oh, Man, good. Just hope I won't turn this. into a dirty hippie if I hang around too long. Care. You better stop talking to me, then. I'm the most contagious. Uh, Please, <laughs> don't hurt. Too late. Guess I'll take a chance. Hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there! I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. 
You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> uh, yep. <laughs> He's kind of a mystery. Hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. It's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time, you won't be. <sighs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls. But this is a pot farm, and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him, then. How old is he, anyway? Oh, uh... Nine. He's nine years old. Jeez. Tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them.
Yeah, not an easy thing to do out here. I know. Ain't no place for children. That's why I keep mine in New York. Isn't that hard? Of course it is. But it won't be forever. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well? What are you waiting for? Oh, you know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Be more focused. Look at all these butts. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa, that's a lot. Yep, had to work overnight all the time, fifteen hours straight once. Yeah. Gotta be more to focused. Forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa, we are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Hmm. Hmm. You got any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. <laughs> Ouch! Shit! Ooh, you okay, sweetie? Dude, I told you a thousand times. Focus. Trim the plant, not your hand. Okay! Jeez! Sorry, Sean. Gotta be more focused. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think. Just work. Okay. Just 
Don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess, yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. For real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. <laughs> come on. Dream yeah. big. I'd like to see the pyramids, or the top of Mount Fuji. Sean Diaz, global traveler. Yeah, uh. stocking Humboldt. No, bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. <clears throat> no problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. <sighs> this ass, is Joey, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit, it's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Down. Yeah. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Going too fast. Uh-huh. Don't Take even. your time, dude. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! <sighs> Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus or off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get- Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Mm. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joe. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay?
cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. <laughs> Short-term memory loss. Yeah. Too bad Merrill was in a pretty shitty mood from start. He ruined the day. <laughs> I got that from his speech, yeah. <laughs> He's, uh, having a hard time with his own bosses. This isn't Silicon Valley. You should know better, then. Threats don't make people work better. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. Sean. Everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for... Hot cars, yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. <laughs> Checking out new well, things. You know, yeah, going to never Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Not to Daniel. He doesn't even want to go. At all. Instead, he wants to go to Arizona to see his... mom. Fuck that. <laughs> it can be tough, growing up, not knowing your folks. He needs closure. That's all. Give him time. Mm. He'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. I had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck. But I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. That's a sweet deal with Meryl.
Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. Almost done. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing it? That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? <sighs> That'd be awesome. I need help moving the last water tank. <sighs> this shit is so heavy. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank. So we can finish your chore. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together some One more tank to handle. Then I'll be done with it. Hey. Hola. ¿Qué está, señor? Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. Hmm. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Tin is too punk rock to be a farmer. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <sighs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> You're good. Wow. 
I look happy. Like, I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. Huh. Yeah, same here. With my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. It smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't white. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know. My mom didn't say squat, as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn. I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> well, apart from my dad, I'd say Lila. Definitely. She was like, my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But things change, right? Yep, so keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah fucking blah. Tourists talking shit again, like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job, and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I 
know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV, I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched and they have to bust ass and they're gone. Yeah, well, thanks. You have no clue who I am or the shit I've been through. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first, always. That's good, shows you're not a selfish brick. That way too many. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn, had some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance. Prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. One more tank to handle, then I'll be done with this. Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. <sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I'm exhausted after today. I think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always entertaining. Let's carry that one to the shower. Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Damn. Trimming is hard. 
do these guys keep coming back? I was really in the zone today. Hope that'll pay. Wonder what they all say about me. Hmm. Easy money, they said. Yeah, right. Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so... I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Daniel was no longer afraid of wild animals now. Finn said he wants to show me this little cave or something. It's by the other side of the lake. Sounds cool. Count me in.
The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> Is that all you got? Daniel likes pine cones. Let's have a little fun with those. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? Come on. Find something else. Let's see what he can do with multiple targets now. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? 
Because I hang out with other people. You're always with them. That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me, and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together, right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! I got serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bowl. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have made that a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. It's giving. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. That was cool, Cassidy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> Hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Daniel, no fucking way. Jeez, <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha, you better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah. Something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Mm. 
Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. They saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Man, I miss Mushroom. That was our rescue dog. She didn't make it with oh. us. Oh, sweetie. Jeez, sorry I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory, fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Bust out the violin. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. You seem to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then. Hook up on cash. But he disappeared. A few miles north from here. In a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck. And zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Wow. Wasn't there like an investigation? Something? Fuck no. He didn't have no ID, no nothing. Cops don't give a fuck about us. I looked for him for a while, but I couldn't track him down. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus. The guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, <sighs> Just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me, and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. <sighs> I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I... Hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. Uh. Yeah. I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. 
Well, this is after me and Daniel took off from Seattle last year. We ended up at this redneck gas station in the middle of nowhere. We had to steal some supplies because we had, like, nothing to eat. Classic. So the owner shows up and knocks my ass out. He tied me up and called the cops. I hope you beat his racist ass to a pulp. Actually, Daniel did all the work. He got us out before the cops arrived. Oh, oh. that's my champ. Damn vigilantes. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then... Boom! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but... We can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? <sighs> yep. I'm ready to crash, too. Let's go. What? No. You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep. And then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet See you yeah. in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. That was pretty wild when you lifted that tree. I didn't know you could do such things. Since when did you... I didn't know either. I was just upset. It was the first time. Yeah. No shit. Just... Don't be so pissed off all the time, Inanna. I try. I swear. Then... I think about what happened to us. 
I just want to rage. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it, but it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah, you're too big for it. I am, but I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right, get comfy. Where were we? Oh. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever.
Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. <sighs> Seriously. We have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me. They will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Shh. I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way. Now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph. Just teach him a lesson. Let me 
Joe! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? The... Uh. Uh. Okay, okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. I am. It's all going so fast, I'm fucking lost sometimes. It's okay, Sean. I know what I'm doing. Man. So, Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us, promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know, I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know... There's a lot of money around here. Oh no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? 
Yes, I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think he did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but what if anyone gets scared? and calls the cops. You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I can stop them anytime I want. Jeez, Daniel, it's not... At least, this will all be behind us once we reach Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. Okay. Guess everyone's expecting me. Better hit that party. Shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. Dude, what the dude. fuck are we supposed to do? Fuck it. Hey guys, what's up? Oh yeah, Sean is in the house. Grab a bro, smoke a bowl. I'm so good. Thanks man, I'm, I'm already bust. <laughs> you fucking lightweight. That's what you get for keeping all the coffee to yourself. Messing with you, man. Hey dudes, I am drunk. No shit. So Diaz, what's up? I'm so pissed we have to bail tomorrow. Bullshit. Fuck Meryl. I can't figure this guy. Hates me, loves Finn. Kicks you out, crazy shit. Doesn't matter now. We're gone. No more job. I would rage if we did not get paid. Sean, this job ain't a thing. I can hook you up with another farm. Really? That would be... Fucking great, if you can. No worries. So, what's the next stop for you two travelers? I want to go north. Ingrid wants to go south. To both? Fuck that. I want to see Canada. She go to takes ass. Yeehaw. At least you have a choice. Still going down Mexico way? Yep. One way. Won't mind being in that heat, though. This is summer compared to Detroit. Summer. <laughs> I believe you. When did you guys start drinking? When I was 15. Oh, you mean tonight? No clue, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mika. And this place is going to be a ghost town tomorrow. So burn it down tonight, right? Fucking A. Scorn! Okay. I'm done. More beer and weed for you. You leaving? Lightweight. We party for you, Sean. Talk later.
Hey, Daniel. What's up? Nothing. Just hanging out with my friends. Um, okay. I'll just be around. Come get me when you want to go to sleep. Yeah, okay. Talk later. I'm gonna get one of these as soon as we're out. This is a life changer on the road. Hey, what's up? Uh, just waiting for your ass? It is your party, dude. That looks like a big Joe bruise. So come on. What the fuck did you guys do? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. All I want to do is fucking party tonight. You deserve to after all that shit. Just give me a drink. My bomb. Anything. Look at Sean, ready to rumble. Hear that, Jake? Time to party, not pray. I was just... <laughs> Sorry. You okay, Jacob? Sure. Fine. Everything's cool. Okay. Just don't get too fucked up. I'm fine. Just thinking. You two want to be alone? Well, I do. Okay. Let's talk later. Later. Forget about Finn. He's waiting for me. So this is it. Once again. Hey, everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting, or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. And Finn likes to get his weed on. Um, why don't you come with us? Is that... Are you serious? Yeah, why not? That's so sweet, Sean. But I'm not cut out for that laugh. 
I can't stay in the same place. I need to move, see places, live. And the last thing Daniel wants is me bumming around with you two. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Sounds cool, but tomorrow I'll totally regret it. What? Are you doubting my drawing skills? <laughs> no way. I'm just not into the needle action. Oh, it doesn't hurt, you big baby. Well, not that much. Come on! Nah. I'm not feeling it, really. I mean, this is for life and all. I can't do it on a whim, you know? It's okay. I'll just need to find another victim for the night. You think Daniel would enjoy a tramp stamp? <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, I get that you don't want a tattoo. To each his own. I like your clean city boy look. Don't lose it, Sean. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean it, dumbass. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. Sorry. Cass, I'm not ready. Too unstable right now. Am I too much of a wuss? Eh, whatever. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together, and to your next adventure. So, what are you gonna do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still on the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. I took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. <laughs> or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now, you just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. No, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? 
Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Hmm. Okay. Fuck it. We're in. Yes! Fucking A! You are the man! <laughs> I knew you and me were the same. I felt it from the start. I also thought it'd be cool if you and Daniel stayed with us after we're done. Really? You'd be cool with that? Only if you are. No pressure. I'm really glad we met, Sean. I feel like we have a strong connection. <laughs> That's me. I always getting obsessed over people I meet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I... Um feel like that. No offense. No stress, man. If you don't ask, you don't know. But really, I I do like you, too. Um, you know? It's just I... <laughs> hey, I said, we're cool. Don't sweat it. Do what you want to do, John. <laughs> you don't have to know everything. You'll figure all this shit out. Maybe if you come with us. Maybe. And, uh, thanks for sharing. That's what it's all about. Um, yep. Um, are you sure you want us to come with you? That's why I asked. <laughs> Think about it, man. No pressure. But it would be fucking badass. Okay. So, uh... How do we work this out tonight? It's early, so just go party. Hug everybody goodbye. Then talk to Daniel and come get me when you're ready. Cool? Cool. Okay. Time to make these bastards pay for three weeks of shitting on me and Dan. Got Daniel and Finn. Nothing can hurt us. I just gotta stay focused. No distraction. Then tomorrow, the world will be ours. Better tell Daniel about Finn's plan. Get things ready for tonight. this. It's freezing. It's all in your head. Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, sure. Don't think. 
<sighs> okay, here I come. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over it. Hurry up. There you go. Bring it home. <laughs> hey, you gotta take it all off. No cheating. Oh, shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. <sighs> Cassidy, do not even... You are so... Adorable? Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> My body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha! So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his plan? Oh, yeah, no way. It's definitely a stupid idea. I swear, I don't know where he gets his ideas sometimes. Hey, it's no big deal, right? Right. Just glad he's dropped it. He's just so confident about it. Hope he won't be too mad. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then I'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Come on, Heartbreaker. You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Yeah. I like you too. Oh, Sean. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm flattered. Nor do you bust out this line whenever you go skinny dipping. First time. Swear. Are you sure? I'm not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm. I don't know. We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do, if that's cool. Yes, it is. See? Now, let's get out of here. Damn, Sean. You really are cold. Shut up. Stop looking. There's my partner. We've been looking all over for your ass. You ready? Uh, ready for what? Wait. Are you gonna do this bullshit too? Cass. Cassidy. I, I, I was gonna tell you. When? After you go to jail? Or after Mail killed you all? That's, that's not gonna happen. Listen. Do not touch me. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, please. How much shit have you stolen? This isn't taking toilet paper from a convenience store, asshole. This is wrong. Don't stress. She'll be singing by tomorrow. You don't need her, Sean. I feel good about this. We just follow the plan, and we're gonna be fucking loaded, guys. Okay, so how do we get there? We're taking one of Big Joe's trucks.
Hey, Joe better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we could take some of his cool stuff, too. No fucking way, Daniel. That house is a death trap. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby-trapped. That's not our mission. Oh, man. The gate is locked. We just gotta get inside and get some wheels. No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. Daniel, maybe you can... Uh, you better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can, Big Joe might wake up. watching us now. Quiet, Sean. Listen. See anything? Mm. Oh, thank God. Okay, troops. We're invisible now. No lights, no sound, no nothing. Cool? <sighs> yeah. I'll try that truck. Cool. What do you want me to do, Finn? Just watch Big Joe's house to see if anybody pops out. You good? Okay. Figures. Check the other door now. Guys, that truck is sealed. No movement in the house. I think we're good for now. Thanks, partner. Keep up the good work. And be careful, Enano. Maybe the truck then? One door left to check. Doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. I I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. I thought I was the shit. You are the fucking man, man. Plus, we could uh mess with all the other cars. So Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. So, what are we supposed to do? We can... look for things to use. Anything destructive. I feel that. We can break the windows and shit. Just keep quiet. Daniel, can you 
open that hood quietly? Let me see. All we gotta do is get this open. So, uh, how much money is in the safe? Enough for everybody, little man. I mean, little rich man. That's so dope. Yeah, and in no time, like I said. Just gotta get in that truck and start her up. Hey, Nano, come here. Can you open that door? Okay. I can. Think first. Oh, no. Oh, fuck it. Let's rush. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You got it, sweetie. Think fast, Sean. Yes, you did it. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Try it. Rock, Sean. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Shit. That was close. You okay, Daniel? Oh, I did. These assholes a lesson. This is what happens when you rip people off. It's karma. Listen, we have to be totally quiet now. I've got the kitchen keys, so we got an easy entrance. Here you go. Whoa, nice job. Get in, bust that safe, grab the money, then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust me. Let's move. Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Really? Fucking A. Meryl can be cool, but he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't give a rat's ass about anything. By the way, careful, guys. The place is rigged with cameras. Ew. This place is creepy at night. Come on. Hot isn't scary. Lights out? See? <laughs> Told ya. We got a plan to stick it to the main. Totally. We're not done I got yet. It. Keep it real, Sean. You're right. Find a way inside. Shit. That camera. 
hammer is aimed right at us. Not anymore. Things are going way too fast tonight. Feels like what happened with Cass is just a dream. Nice work, Sean. Smile at the camera, dumbass. Boom. It's blocked on the other side. Gotta find a way to get that bar off. loud. I know. We sneak in. Daniel opens the safe. We grab the money. Then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Well, well, well. Come on in. I've been watching you over the cameras, fucking amateurs. All right, move your asses over there. Uh, Meryl. Now. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So... What was your big fucking plan, exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punk's work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Hey, it's me, boss. Everything all right? Yeah. Come in. These dumb fucks didn't even mess with the cars to stop me. Bet they got their plan from a TV show. Did you search them? Nah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, they're clean. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Shut up and do it. Come on, sir. We... we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Wait. Let me explain. Oh, yeah? Explain this. Back up, bitches. Don't insult me by acting like you got a reason to steal. Don't! 
for the last time. Get on your fucking knees. Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. Don't fucking move! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore, Eve. Sean. Daniel, do it! <laughs> Shit! Get out! Go out, son of a bitch! Wait! Stop! Fuck!
This is it, son. You're toast. End of the road. No way out this time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Alone. Thank you.